Kafu Camp, visible just at the bottom of the screen, is 800 feet below our high camp. As I move up the mountain to 16,000 feet, our high camp becomes visible. You can see it here, a smattering of tents as taken by Google Earth. Our summit attempt starts here at midnight. Once you reach the top of the main plateau, you walk along the mostly flat ridge to Yuhura Peak, as seen here. That's not too bad, right? Yeah, don't not too bad. Sometimes okay. people will still up to 75, 75, 70. It is 3.30 in the morning on Saturday, and uh, my uh, quest for summoning Kilimanjaro ended tonight. Um, we we left as a group at 12 midnight and uh, the wind was howling all night here at 16,000 feet. Um, and uh, I'm literally wearing everything that uh, that I brought, <laughs> um, including skidoo mitts. It's what? Okay. Um, so, um, I was probably good for the first 45 minutes and um, then I noticed my pace was, was slowing and w the pace was already incredibly slow. At this altitude you're literally uh, putting a foot in front of the other foot and then stopping and breathing. And uh, um, somewhere around 16.5 um, I started feeling not really well. and. Uh, at uh, 17,000 uh, I stopped. I was feeling some nausea and uh, at that point um, uh, the porters, um, not porters, the guides, uh, one of them, actually the two of them that were with, I should maybe mention that uh, Bob and I were in a group by ourselves because we were not climbing as quickly as uh, everybody else. Uh, so at 17,000 I had to stop to breathe, and um, the porters were, well, we'll take your bag, we'll take your bag, and I said, no, I, it's, I think I've had enough. It was a little bit, um, you look up the mountain, and you see a string of lights of people that are a thousand feet above you. I mean, it just, it's so daunting. The wind was 50 miles per hour, and just cutting through everything I'm wearing. Um, Sorry, I'm a little bit scattered here, but uh, at that point, uh, Laddie uh, took my pack and I uh, said, "No, well, let's do another 25 minutes and you know see how you feel." And um, we didn't do another 25 minutes. We did um, maybe another five minutes, maybe a little more than that. Uh, but at 17,200, that was it for me, and uh, I said, "I want to go down." And um, Bob asked if uh, you want me to go with you, and I said nope. Um, so Laddie and I started descent, and um, uh, my left leg was hurting, um, nausea, and you know, the nausea disappears as soon as you breathe. <laughs> you just you have to breathe, and um, so it took an hour and a half to descend from 17,200 um, back to 16,000 where I am right now and feeling good uh, on the way down um, maybe 10 minutes on the way down I asked to uh, <coughs> carry my pack um, because I was feeling good and frankly I needed more uh, protection from the wind so I got the pack back on um, my water bladder was frozen solid um, so thankfully I had another one liter bottle to drink uh, that was uh, upside down inside a sock in the back and um, that worked out uh, that w well because water freezes from the top down. So uh, yeah, so 3.30, just after 3.30 in the morning back in the tent 
and uh, I'm going to go lay down now and catch some much needed sleep. Bob successfully summited Kilimanjaro. Here he is with Sistine and Max. And here are a few stunning photos taken from others in our group that were better prepared than I. Beautiful pictures. The glaciers are breathtaking. So this is 7 o'clock in the morning or 7.30, something like that, and you can see that my oxygen is still very low. So, time, to me, time for me to get to some lower altitudes. So Bob just summited Kilimanjaro. Awesome, Bob. Thank you. It's very bittersweet, though. Explain. Oh, you weren't there, so. I know I wasn't there, but I made the right decision. Yeah. Um, August carried my bag up for me. It's the only way I could have made it. Yeah, I dressed too warm, but you just don't know, so. I was freezing. Yeah. Huh? Unreal. I, I had uh, uh, two fleece layers plus the outer shell. Yeah. And I needed the backpack to protect my back from the wind. Yeah. Um, I think it was six hours to get to um, Stella. That was the roughest climb ever. And then uh, after you, Stella, you slipped. were pretty much by yourself with the with the guide. Oh yeah, oh for sure. The whole yeah. time, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, after <coughs> after Stella, the uh, final ascent is very shallow, so that, that's the easy part. You just really slow going and slowly watch the sun come up and. It was really fast, we got a bunch of pictures and basically it's time to come down. I was there for about maybe 10 minutes at most and just flew down the hill. So probably two and a half hours to get down. So, so you've got yeah. blood on your nostril? Yeah. And you got blood on your fingers? Yeah. So what happened? Nothing, just my nose. Oh. So nothing. Just the air exchange up here. Body's working overtime. So it's all good. And I need to sleep. Okay, well, um, I'm not sure what time it is, but um, I think you can get like two hours and then we're gone at uh, 10. Yeah. And we have to drop 9,000 feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's see it, Sistine! Woo! <laughs> Scattered throughout the mountain are these emergency evacuation stretchers. When in use, six porters manage it, one on each handle and one on each side of the stretcher. We saw perhaps 25 of these stretchers over our 70-kilometer Kilimanjaro trek. 
Kijana mwenzio Na shindwa na mali sina we Ningekuwa malaika Yeah, yeah, last year I do climb with the ladies. Yeah. Yeah, three ladies with their husbands and uh, one lady. She had uh, four children. And after we summit on the way down, like we are descending down together with you, she told me that she prefer being in labor, pushing three <laughs> babies more than summiting Kilimanjaro. So, I... I wouldn't know, but I tend to agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are below High Camp Brafu Hut, and we are just above. What did you call this? Millennium. Millennium Camp. Millennium Camp, yeah. and uh, we started uh, about eight hundred feet above Brafu Hut. At uh, I'm going to say. High camp, um, and that was at 16,000 feet, yes. and we are now at uh, twelve thousand five hundred. So what is that? How many have we dropped? <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> Thirteen five, fourteen five, fifteen five, sixteen five, thirty five hundred. Boy, I'm really tired if I can't do that. Thirty five hundred feet. We've come down, Bob. And that's not counting the summit. And then, uh, and we're going down to what? 10.5? Mm. Another 2,000 feet. That's Protea. Protea. Yes, yeah, scientifically it's Protea Kilimanjaro. And it grows? On moorland zone. So it grows in Kilimanjaro and also in South Africa? Yes. So we are... I'm going to say an hour and a half upstream from Mueka camp, um, which is at 10,200, something like that. And I think we're probably around 11,200. Pretty good guess. Mm -hmm. We're about an hour and a half left. And uh, we've been traveling for uh, four hours so far. <laughs>